I would have destroyed myself for that woman. Gladly. I would have eaten garbage. I would have sliced my wrists open, under the right circumstances. I mean, we just... We just clicked. We, we, we talked about God for three hours once. I don't know what good it did, but... You know, that intensity. And the first time we went to bed together, I... I didn't even touch her. I mean, I didn't want to. Do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> and then after a couple of weeks, I knew, I knew we were right there, so I just, I decided to tell her everything. I laid it all on the table. And she says to me, she says, nobody should ever need another person that badly. What is that? Is that, is that something you saw on TV? <laughs> need, need. I'm saying I love you. Is, is, is that so bad? All right, crucify me. So what if I did need her? Is that not allowed? I, I just, I don't want to be by myself. I'm by myself. I feel like I'm, I'm going out of my mind. I do. I sit there thinking, I'm not going to make it through the next ten seconds. But I do. Somehow. But, but then I have to do it all over again because these seconds just keep floating by and, I, and I'm sitting there waiting for, for something to happen. I, I don't know what. A, a car wreck? I, I know that sounds awful, but at least there'd be this instant when I'd know I was alive because I, I don't know who I am and I don't know where I'm going. I wish I'd never been born. And my hair is falling out, and that really sucks. <laughs>